The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Alright guys, welcome back to Sucking on Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. So right now we're currently in Tema. And before we get to that, there's two things that I noticed while we were on our way here. The first thing is, in Ghana, they will block off roads for funeral services. I thought that was a bit different. And then the next thing, while we were heading over here, I saw a lot of trucks, especially in the industrial zones, where there were Jamaican flags on them. I don't quite understand why. But there's two things that I noticed. In Jamaica, we have, of course, the, the, the colors are a lot different. Here, everything feels a lot more pastel. It feels a lot more red. In Jamaica, I immediately see a lot more blues and greens. This is a lot more of a vibrant country. But one of the main reasons for that, of course, is the red dirt. Now, this is a kind of clay that over a very long time, it gets to this type of consistency. What happens is the intense heat from the sun and also the heavy rains that brings down minerals such as aluminum and iron, it causes this color. So the color is definitely coming from the iron. It's a very rusted looking color. But anyway, we're at this street food stop or a food stop that Nana took us to, of course, you don't know, Eddie is the boss driver, he took us here as well. So we're gonna go in and figure out what exactly they have serving. Immediately, whatever I'm smelling, it smells exactly like jerk chicken. Welcome back. Oh, you said welcome back to the yeah, land yeah, of the yeah. living yeah. after she was sleeping. Yeah. Welcome back to land. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but you're good. You're good a little bit now. Nah, you're good. <laughs> you get people's heads turning. So, so we're gonna take a quick look at um, how their kebabs are. That's guinea fowl. What kind of fowl? No, no, no. Guinea fowl. Oh, guinea. Okay. So one person. What's that you're putting on it? Like oil? What's that you're putting on it? Oil? Yeah. All right, so here we got this goat, right? Yeah, goat kebab, yeah. And those are just plain onions, or is it like a... No, no, just plain onions. Plain onions. Green pepper. Green peppers. And then one, one nice diced tomato. Okay. And then that's the powder pepper. Powder it's pepper. It's actually made from ground, ground, ground peanuts mixed with some spices. Ground peanuts yep. and spices. Yep. That is dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and that's it, you know, some onions on there. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. Super hot. Oh yeah. Fire. Right amount of the spice. Good amount of spice. Tender. Tender. Fresh. Fresh. Yummy. Yeah. Great kill for hangover. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna yeah. bite. I'm gonna bite into one of these. Yeah, man. Wow. Dip it in a, in a spice. It's pepper already. Oh my god. <laughs> I dip mine in spice. Okay. So I started a video, I said something smelled like jerk chicken. This was it. Mm -hmm. Nana is right. It's tender. It's still a bit gamey, but it's tender. You can go through it. Jilly is also correct because I bit the part without the spice thing, and it is spicy. 
All right, so I'm gonna try this part that has the spice on it, and I'll tell you what I think. I think it actually improved it. It has a type of a creaminess. You know like peanut. The more you mash it, it becomes peanut butter. I'm getting that effect. As soon as it touches my palate, it's very creamy, but it's not, the spice level didn't go up for some strange reason. And then some of the ends are kind of like burnt ends. They're crispy. And the salt level is just, This for me is different, and it's the best kebab I've ever had. Like this is like, a, yeah, you have the regular American type kebabs with the beef and shrimp or whatever. This one is different, and I love it. One of my favorite things in Ghana. I don't think it's on my list, but this this is busting. This is really busting, for sure. Look at that. probably see the kid there on the grill and you're saying, yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> He's young, but he got the experience of a whole guy. <laughs> it's really good. You like it? Mm. When Nana said it was fresh, she didn't mean like fresh, like it tastes fresh. He meant like freshly cooked. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. If this was what we drove for alone, I'm already sold. It's over. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is busting. Shoot. Eddie, <laughs> Nana, Jilly. <Yes. laughs> I'm the only one with a non alcoholic. Yep. Interesting. What is the buy it? Okay, but you have the back of the coffee, the you have back of the takeaway. Daddy, they will be doing it. Why are you back of the takeaway? Why? Uh huh. Back of the takeaway. Back of the Ghana, I love you. <laughs> oh my God, bro, it's so what? Yes, yes. Guys, look at the size of this fish. Perspective, this is my hand, yo. Whoa. And then it's made into a paste, and then it becomes like almost soft. Gotcha. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't know. It's like a softer version of kinky. Okay. Yeah. Softer version. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you know, with, with this one, yeah, it's boiled in the hot water. 
the kinky, I just went to Jamestown. It's boiled in a corn husk. Yeah. So it's compact. But with this one, it's, you know, it's mixed up with the hot water, so it's, that's why it's soft. Oh, it's like a dumpling. Yeah, it is it's like, like a, a dumpling. dumpling. Yeah. So it's dumpling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this feels like a dumpling. Yeah. So it's corn, 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 Oh, I need it to not, it needs yeah, yeah, the water. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's like dumpling. Yeah, some salt, that's it. All right. Do you so, hear that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, man. Swallow. I love the pepper. Yeah. That's it's a spicy. Tomatoes and pepper. Yeah. It's like a salsa? It's like a salsa, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a salsa. You, you know, this is, uh, this is raw. No processing. Yes, just ground. So it makes it uh, very healthy. No fat content. Just pure vegetables. Mmm. Fire. Mm hmm. Whoa. Wait till we go to Kumasi. Whoa. It is perfect. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. The fish, they got a nice charred outside part, full of flavor, but the inside is just meaty and tender. This is my favorite meat. But then this yeah. thing, this uh, pepper, Okay. With Love tomatoes, it's like a salsa, but an African salsa. You know Africans know the dance, so the flavors are just yeah. dancing in your mouth. Amazing. Mm. So Eddie was saying that the avocado isn't consistent here. So I'm gonna try this one. We had one yesterday. It was it was horrible. I never liked that one, but I'm gonna try this one. Pepper. This one is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot better. It's not the same as yours. I think it's the same, but yeah. like every every avocado tree is different. Yeah. Yeah. No, now I'm just saying. Yeah. Saw the juice is that. You guys know how to put it in. Of course, you do. There's extra spice in the head, you know. I trust you. But I must tell you guys, huh? you guys have such a fucking great vibe. You can meet some people, you can try and play it out nice, right? But it's very original. And I'm speaking for myself. Thank you. Say again? If you get it right, if you get it right, perfect. If you get it, back again. Oh, back to that old day, back. Oh, him man, that's it. Yeah, what's up, man? Are you okay? Back to that old day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need it, you need it, you need it now, now. Oh, you need. Hmm. Okay. So good. What I mean? You said about the okay, avocado. Okay, okay, okay. If you get it right. If you get it right. Okay. You know, because there are various species. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. And nice. sometimes you can tell, even the local can tell which one will taste good. But if you get a good tasting mm -hmm. one, it's. That's it, game over. Yeah, uh, family, family, family. But if I taste it, then it tastes lousy. I still go ahead and eat it because I still bought it. And then also, secondly, you still get the nutritional value that uh, From it still. your body needs. Because it's a superfood. Yeah, it's a superfood. Yeah. You know the, the, the biggest producer of, of avocado in the world? Mexico. Some banku. <laughs> Some of that tomato spice paste sauce. It's, oh.
Meko. 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 No, Meko. 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 This is Meku. Me feel good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Say meko like you're Japanese. Meko. 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 Oh my gosh. It's really good. So how does it feel if you're flying and um, I think today that was the hardest okay, so word for me to pronounce. <laughs> Meko. Okay, so Did I say yeah, Meko? Yeah, you got it right. Okay, thank Meko. God. Oh, yeah, you got it right. Meko. You know, um, I flew in Ethiopia. And, uh, but it's by far one of my favorite uh, things. It's very fresh. Yeah, the spice level in it is very mild. Ethiopia. It's just Ethiopia? so good. It's almost like a Where's salsa. But I think a lot yeah, better. Yeah. Hmm? Very, very much busting. Very good. Oh, she went for the two grabber. Fish and banco. Bad. Bad. Badness. <laughs> Fire, right? Fire. So good. So for those who want to know, we are in Tema and we are at the Feel at Home Tilapia joint. So if you're into seafood, you're going to really enjoy it. So this was fresh water fish tilapia, not farm raised. Is it farm raised? No. Not farm raised, right? Fresh water fish tilapia. Let me tell you, man. If you guys have been watching my videos long enough, I would tell you fish is not necessarily my favorite thing to go for. But this one was like a perfect concoction of every single thing fresh herbs, spices, not too spicy. And I can see why they call it feel at home, especially for myself as a Jamaican, because the music in the background, it sounds very much like a, a mix of African and reggae music, the cool breeze that you're getting, and also just the ingredients that they're using. You know, we love avocado back at home, AKA pear. And I won't lie, like even the banku, the banku reminded me a lot of, how can I say a boiled dumpling, but this is more like, this is more, I would say more organic and more authentic because boiled dumpling is kind of like, it kind of a synthetic kind of feel kind of, but this is more natural and I really dig Banku. I thought 
I thought I preferred Fufu more, but I think I'm really messing with Banku. So I won't lie, it has been a great experience here. But most importantly, like I said to you guys, just meeting up with a subscriber who now I can say, is a cool cat and it's now my brethren like that. It's, it's, it's amazing, man. Yo. What do you think of this spot, yo? Like, what is the whole vibe? You, you've eaten, there's still a bunch of food left. You got like a whole half of fish left. What do you feel? Fish was a very big fish. <laughs> <laughs> this place feels like I'm back home. We're sitting underneath a tree, guys, with some table and chairs. It just feels very Jamaican. But obviously, we're in Ghana, right? And the food, for me, this has been the best food I've had here since I've been in, been in Accra. And it just remind me of home, everything about it. The pear, the only thing I was missing was some fried planting. I wouldn't eat planting this morning already, so we can't eat planting again. But the fish was really good. And it don't, I mean, I know Jamaicans, when we hear tilapia, we're thinking about the one we're raising on the farm and the meat kind of don't have a little different taste. But this one is not farm raised and it's really good. Really good fish. And the meal kind of reminded me of a African, Mexican twist. With the, with the avocado and the, the, the pepper was like a salsa. So it would be like eating guacamole and salsa, but not guacamole and salsa. We had more high end than that. So, next experience I've been here so far, and many more to come. Yes, yeah, but in the cut as well, yeah. She's gonna get a bigger pack, so she can pack it well. So, bro, I see you tearing up that fish head. But like yep. on the inside, you see all them spices, yo. Yeah, What's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. It's like muckle. It's yeah, it's muckle, but it's ground spices and some good stuff, really. They'll oh. never tell you what the secret is, you know. They'll just, never tell you, right? Never. So this is not like a, a full-on traditional stuff. They got their own little spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have their own thing. Yeah, they own their own thing. Yeah, yeah. got you. Yeah, so you like it? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Good. Not too much. Not too yeah. spicy. Yeah. Like yeah. You can handle it. Yeah. Good amount of spice, but that's about it. You know? yeah. Oh, really? Alright, guys, so we already spoke about the food, and that has been amazing. Great food adventure day today. But one thing I had to point out so, you know, in Ghana, of course, when it comes on time to eat food or after you're done, they wash their hands right at the table and everything. Now, um, Eddie was at the far end of the table, and he was about to get up. He was gonna, he asked Julie she needs to wash her hands. Julie's about to get up to meet him with the, the water and everything and he said, stay rooted. And it seems like very simple words, but what stay rooted means, it means be grounded, stay exactly where you are, I'll come and meet you. And being here, it has really showed me that, you know, as Jamaican people or people from African descent, it's super important for us to be rooted, learn how to work as a unit in unison and, you know, respect the roots that you're coming from. Yeah, I know a lot of persons might look at the culture sometimes and think, oh, yeah, it's different or you don't want to go back to whatever. But it's important to know exactly where you're coming from so that you're able to see where exactly that you're going. I'm not the kind of person that, you know, it's super philosophical with certain things but at that very moment just hearing those words for me it was like yo um being here people always talk about the motherland back in jamaica i used to find it kind of funny you know but being here i do feel it's a it's a different sense of you know pride a different sense of you know becoming you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna see me turn into no rasta man or anything like that but um being here it's it's been very eye-opening it has been one of the only cultures I've been to where it's black predominant. Even in Jamaica, it's out of many one people, bunch of black people there, but we have Indians, whites, Chinese, everything like that. Um, and um, when you look at even the Ghanaian flag, it shows that the red signifies the blood and the suffering that the people went through. The gold signifies the rich minerals that are in the earth. And of course, the green signifies the green forestry that they have here. And um, yeah, guys, I'm asking you, ensure that you come out to Ghana. If you need help, if you need me to help you to set up this trip, I'll definitely try my best to make this happen for you. Or maybe I'll set up something that you guys can get here because it is an experience worth having no matter what culture you're from. Anyway, enough ranting or talking about this. Um, yeah, 
get to know your history a little bit more. It's going to be very important for you. Remember these three things. Love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.